What's up, my crypto legends? Right over here, we do have Crypto Kid. He's got to be one of the youngest crypto traders that I know. I did meet him in Dubai. He's a great guy. And he is going to talk about Bitcoin technical analysis in this episode. Crypto Kid, FA, how are you doing? I'm doing amazing, man. Thank you so much for having me on your channel. It's a pleasure. Bitcoin is pumping, so I am super happy. I'm pumped also. Uh, so uh, we're going to talk about that. We're going to see what's happening and what's going to happen next. So thank you, man. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, portfolio looking absolutely great. Uh, I really want to know your um, analysis. What do you think, you know, in the short term could happen with Bitcoin? If you have any time, we can also take a look at, you know, S&P 500, DXY. So if you do not mind, FA, let's share the charts here and give us your go. analysis. Awesome. Okay. So first of all, I want to talk about this. Uh, so the reason I think, well, personally, what I think is there's no other really bullish news going on right now is the CPI and CPI is so funny because, uh, it's just, you know, they adjust the CPI afterwards. Did you know this? I found out about this today and it's super funny. It's super funny. And basically last month, CPI was 6.5%. Uh, and we saw after, so this was the candle that the CPI came on. Uh, and after the next throughout the next couple of days, we saw the massive pump extend. So I think this is what we're seeing right now. Uh, CPI came 0.1% 1, below last month. Uh, and even though we're pumping like crazy, so we saw it on this candle here, exactly on this one. And now these next two days, we, uh, we are currently pumping. So I think this pump was the CPI effect personally. Is that what you think also, Andy? Um, yes, I mean, I know they were expecting a bit lower, so we had a little mm -hmm. bit of volatility in that range. Uh, and mm -hmm. then, you know, I, well, I was right talking here. about a double bottom, right? Uh, you know, that double bottom that we could see here on the chart and that, yes. you know, we were likely to go to, to higher levels, but I wasn't expecting this massive pump breaking above $24,000 currently. Me neither. Honestly, I didn't expect this to happen at all as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I was talking about a potential head and shoulders pattern, but then uh, I mentioned that we had this wedge going on uh, and we had this ascending triangle also, which broke to the upside, which was amazing. Uh, so that was beautiful. Uh, but honestly, I thought we would come back up to like this resistance here. I, I, I really didn't think like we'd go above it, yeah. but we've absolutely smashed this on the weekly chart. We've smashed this parallel channel resistance, yeah. which I thought was super hard to do. But honestly, I think the reason we've done this is because we're just having some liquidation grabs here. Because I think there's a lot of short positions at this level. Yeah. So again... I'm I'm urging my 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 followers to be very very careful mm. because um on the MACD on the one hourly we can see that we had a bearish crossover with the bearish uh, bar graph as well so this is pretty pretty tense and we've also seen the stochastic go to the downside so this is what I'm seeing um, but also we're forming a double top right potentially uh, we haven't formed it yet but we could, or we could just retest back here, which would be awesome. And then if we retest here with volume, uh, that would be the perfect scenario to go back to the upside. So this would be healthy, but uh, we can readjust this triangle because we broke the downside already. Uh, but this is this is what we have going on. Another wedge that we should be on the lookout for. Uh, and I'll just give you the targets and I'll hand it back to you. So the positive uh, target for this wedge would be around uh, so, that, so that was, let me move our camera. Bit. So that would give us about a 25,000, 24.9K target. Uh, and the downside, this would give us a target of 24.4K. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think, you know, a lot of people are trying to short. I got to say, and my community knows, I was looking for short positions at 22.8, 22.9. I actually <laughs> entered a short, got stopped uh -oh. out. <laughs> but the good thing about, you know, it is is having good risk management. So, you know, I was telling yes. my community, hey, you know, I entered that short because I did see a reaction here at 22,800 and, you know, got mm -hmm. stopped out and said, look, I'm just going to wait to see where we're going to stop to look for other trading opportunities. Because, I mean, this massive pump has been absolutely crazy. And I've been yes. taking a look at the, the book map. There is mm -hmm. a huge amount of short liquidations slightly above $25,000. Exactly. So we're only, yeah. yeah, we're only about five, six hundred dollars away from that, from there right now. We actually almost hit twenty five thousand just a few hours ago. Really? I see there on the chart, right? We just hit twenty four point so nine. Here, right? So just above. Ah, okay. So it's because it's right above this swing high. Yeah, yes, exactly, exactly. So uh -huh. you know, there's a huge amount of liquidation shorts right there. Where, and I think the possibility right now at this point 
reaching that level in the next you know hours or coming days is just very very possible before we have a turning point you know this is that is going to be that level in my opinion where are the bulls going to manage to absolutely break through this level successfully mm -hmm. or is it just going to be a massive wick to the upside and come back down if it does mm -hmm. do that i do think that it's going to be bearish uh, if we do close a nice strong daily candle above 25.2 I see that mm -hmm. price action going to higher levels to 28 or even 30 K. So this is going to be like a super important level to watch out in the next coming days. In, in my opinion. That's super interesting, man. Yeah. hundred percent. I think, yeah, we could, if this is where all the liquidations are, yeah. then we could have like a, like a wick here just to get yeah. rid of all of them. Yeah. But currently there's still 14 hours for this candle to close. So I don't want to comment on it, but currently it looks like a reversal candle. This could change. Yeah. But if this happens, then we could have a mini reversal, which would be the healthy thing to have or a potential continuation at least. That's what I would say. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, like you said, it does look, look, Mm, you know it looks like it's going to get weaker every time but we're above that wick that we did create in february which is that 24.2 24.3 approximately the, 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 yes. exactly yeah. right there so if we do yeah. close below that range uh, it will be looking pretty bearish for a larger correction in my opinion yeah because that would look that would be a double top right so yeah 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 exactly yeah all 100%. right cool man do you want to so, have a look into the smp let's have a look into the smp exactly stock market what's going on Yes. All right. So the stock market now, this is very interesting because uh, since this peak of the S&P uh, on the 3rd of Jan last year, we've been forming this massive trend line on the S&P uh, and we've been creating lower lows, lower lows each time uh, and hence continuing that bear market. However, uh, we have bounced off very, very strongly from this 200 period moving average. And this caused just a massive move to the upside. Uh, and now we've managed to break out from here. Uh, so there is a very, very critical resistance at 4.18K. Uh, and if we break above this, and it looks like we're forming a continuation pattern right now. So if we break above that, then I think possibly we could see a retest to this prior swing high, which would be, of course, beneficial for Bitcoin. And if we look at the uh, DXY, which is inversely correlated to Bitcoin, we have been forming this uh, am amazing head and shoulders pattern on the weekly chart. Um, and so these are the two places that we have to look out for the support and the resistance. Uh, currently, it looks like we're going to reverse and come back down to here. So if the, S if the DXY reverses, then we could see another push on Bitcoin because it's inversely proportional. So that's what I would say. Yeah, I mean, uh, exactly. If it, obviously, if the DXY does get a massive hit, then a bullish uh, Bitcoin could have that bullish momentum, right? It's even going to 30K range uh, in the next coming weeks. I was slightly, I'm slightly bullish on the DXY short term, but this is only okay. short, short term. As you can see, you know, we are in a kind of uptrend. But like you said, you know, there's a lot of resistance at that 104, 105 range where you could start, you know, getting a few wicks to the upside. And that is a potential reversal zone. I'll be talking There's a lot of EMAs that we need to get above also. So it looks very hard, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice, man. Thank you uh, for, yeah, for that it. analysis. And no worries um, at all. Yeah, S&P 500. Can we just jump to the S&P 500 once yes. again? Sure, sure. No worries. Because, I mean, this Let's is... Jump what, the daily. Yeah, this is what I'm looking at here. You know, that, you know, that next blue horizontal level that you got at 4278 you know i've been talking about my mm -hmm. community at 4300 points around that mm -hmm. range where we got that last yeah lower high basically that mm -hmm. is the critical zone where we basically need to break to to have that yes. bullish you know uh bull market back in on on the stock market in my opinion we've only broken out this trend line which is already good news it's it's mm -hmm. already technically good. We've also formed a bull flag. Oh, sorry, yeah, we've also had a yeah. bullish uh, golden cross here, which is I just realized this. Uh -huh. It's actually yeah. 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 So we we we've seen the starts of that potential bullish momentum, but in mm -hmm. my opinion, we're not out of the woods yet, as we need to break above that four thousand uh, three hundred points where you do have that blue horizontal line, which is the technical real last lower high to to break mm -hmm. the structure here. And, um, you know, if we start consolidating at that range in the next coming weeks, I think it's not going to be looking good. If we hit that level, I, I want it to absolutely smash it to be yes. bullish, to, to go yes. to all time highs in the next coming months. Because if we start... And there's actually no volume as well, bro. This, I just realized also that on the volume profile, we have very little volume in that yeah. range. Yeah. So, yeah, as you we said, it's not... 
you are going to win smash it. We should smash out that range. If we don't smash out of it, you know, it's not going to be looking great. I'll be very, very cautious if we go sideways at that range. All right, man. Well, thank you very much for sharing a bit of your analysis. You. Um, uh-huh. you know, do you, do you have any 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 kind of predictions for the midterm on Bitcoin? Let's zoom out on Bitcoin. You know, just give a little bit of your okay. opinion. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's go out a bit. That's yeah. you're right. Let's go a little out. So, I mean, yeah, on on the mid midterm, long term, right? We've bounced very very nicely from this huge trend line that we've had since 2018. And as you can see with every bounce, right, we've had a huge move to the upside, like a, a mm-hmm. huge move. So if I just take it from here, for example, uh, we went up 276% there. Uh, and over here, it, it doesn't mean we're going to see that again, but uh, it, it is very interesting because it's a very, very powerful trend line. And yeah. here we went over 1,100%. So uh, I think we could have a mini rally to potentially like, 31k 31.7k which we retest back to these prior resistances yeah but i don't see anything like a next bull market until next year personally yeah 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 it, this also makes a lot of sense like this is a bear market rally kind of thing where yeah. you get all of you know those those extreme people that are bearish and and you know get them in doubt of course going to thirty thousand dollars and you know get mm-hmm. them a little bit bullish and then have that you know, final turnover before you enter the bull market, real bull market by, by, you know, next year. Uh, mm-hmm. So I also think that. Yeah, I'd agree, man. I'd agree. hundred percent. One percent. All right. So the, the future is bright short term. <laughs> it looks bullish midterm. It looks bearish. If we do have a massive yeah. bull- <laughs> and then back <laughs> bullish again by mid 2024 and 2024, where the market, the real bull market is going to start. Right. That is exactly. a kind of overview here that we have on Bitcoin. All right, mm-hmm. FA, thank you very much for joining the, the channel. And hopefully I'll be Thanks jumping so on your channel very soon. Yes, yes. And guys, remember, make sure to check out his YouTube channel. It's Crypto Kid. I'll be leaving the link down below. And make sure to check him out, guys. Subscribe, follow him because he does also daily analysis on Bitcoin and the markets. FA, thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Andy. Bye-bye. Take care.